with a lovely horse. Hey guys, it's Julie. I'm vlogging. Issa's here with me, but she's riding currently. Birthday was on Monday, and one of my like big presents was a Canon G7X, which is the same vlog camera Issa has. But I got one of my own because like Issa and I aren't always together. We go to different shows, do different horse events. So I thought it would be good to have my own. And I love vlogging and this way I can vlog a lot more. Apparently what I'm thinking is doing like weekly vlogs. First thing I wanna say, I got a new helmet. Um, I got the Miss Sam Shield. I just got it in the all matte black. Got it because mine, I had fallen off in a lot of times and yeah it wasn't good i got it during the smart pack like international helmet awareness day sale it was like 20 percent off i'm super in love with it super happy with it i also thought somewhat frequent potentially weekly potentially bi weekly bi monthly vlogs would be a good way to keep you guys updated on friday's status currently we are just walking for 20 minutes a day until the vet clears us to do more which hopefully will happen next tuesday um so yeah i just got done riding him i walked him he was super good we did some leg yields and some circles but yeah we can't really do too much because we can only walk so here's friday the lighting is super weird and jacked up in here which makes it super fun to vlog it's being a little interesting because i was vlogging and not giving all my attention to him i love you even though you hate me Stand still on the assault and your saddle pad. Another new thing I got is this Ogilvy saddle pad. It's just the classic white baby pad, but it has the Oldenburg um, brand embroidered on it. She also has, you can barely see it. I don't care about an argument, I'll still be here tomorrow for you. I got the room up in the city, we can play, finish the bottle. I pull you up, we'll work on us Cause ain't nobody taking my baby I wanna be clear, I'm staying right here Cause ain't nobody taking my baby, yeah It was me and you in love for a quick summer Now we texting Isa is taking Zara out right now I didn't even like show her This is what I'm saying I feel like they're gonna be really boring So it's gonna be like, got to the barn, got my horse Got ready, then I rode. Now I'm getting on ready and now I'm going home. Like, I don't know. I feel like it just won't be very exciting. Hey guys, it's Thursday. Um, currently I'm going to get Coda. If you watched our Gluff vlogs, you know him. I showed him all summer. Thursday is like our group lesson, group jumping lesson at the barn and I can't ride Friday cause he's still not fully healed. Um, so I've been riding other horses. Last Thursday was my first lesson and first time jumping in like two weeks, two months. And it was painful. I was so sore. Good to see to say hi. He's so cute. He's getting so fluffy. He came from Texas, so like he never had a winter coat when we got him. And he's getting fluffy now. We now have Coda. Um, I also have not ridden him since the end of Gluff. Um, so super excited about him again because he's my baby. I really wanted to quickly like walk slash potentially ride Friday because it only takes like 20 minutes, but I have a ton of homework, so I don't have time for that. I am super excited for this lesson because on Monday, I was feeling really inspired by the USET finals and created a course similar to the gymnastics day course. I'm really excited to jump because it's my course that I made. Wendy, how's your ride? Good. That's all I have to say about that? Yes. He had so much energy, and I'm gonna go show you little Wesley. Okay, this is my pony. I mean, it's not mine, it's my trainer's. But this is Wesley. Horse tree tree, you know, go buy some. Fridays and Solaris, so you know, he's gonna stall, you know. Cause his Leg. little legs. So I am currently holding Mr. Coda. There's Coda. There's Friday. There's Wesley. At her barn, <laughs> just when you walk in, there's just this little piece of grass right on top of the roof. <laughs> I just put Coda back outside. 
going to meet his friend. He's over there, going down the hill. We can literally hardly see him. My ride went okay. I said I like created a course um, inspired by like the youth at finals, so it was quite equitation-y. For the most part, it went pretty well considering it was my second time jumping in two months. The flat work was really good though. I'm gonna go say hi to Friday before I leave. There's Friday, it's tall. Hi beautiful boy, hello. I don't have a treat, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, beautiful boy. Uh, it is now Friday the 13th. I was gonna go to the barn today, but I had a ton of homework last night and didn't get done with it till like one in the morning. Solid. I'm very impatiently waiting for my UPS man to get here because I have my smart pack blankets on the way. So because I got like four hours of sleep and I also am like very addicted to caffeine, need coffee. And I typically make really good coffee and it's amazing. And I drink it during first hour at school. But today I was so bad. I went to Walgreens, like I need caffeine. So I got a 20 ounce Red Bull. I love Red Bull, but like so bad for you. And I went to Starbucks and got this. For fall, Starbucks came out with a pumpkin spice iced chai tea latte, and I got it with an extra shot of espresso. And at first it tasted really good, but now it kind of tastes like it has alcohol in it, and I know it doesn't, so I'm a little confused. Last night, I was talking about my Smart Pack order that I was gonna show you, and it got here like right when the UPS app said it was. But the lighting in my room sucked, and I tried to show you guys, and then it just was not good. So I'm sitting down here right before I go to the barn. I had 20% off all of their brand blankets. I used to have the Dover brand blanket for Penny and I hated it. So I was always very wary of buying the Smart Pack brand blanket. But I read so many of the reviews and they have like the same denier as Rainbow. They have a better like warranty service. Overall are super high quality and have super good reviews. The first thing I got is a medium weight stable blanket. This is like the black and dark gray color. It is 220 grams. Um, I got this for Friday to wear in his stall in the winter time. I was expecting it to feel like a lot less heavy duty, but it feels super heavy duty and almost like it could be used as a turnout blanket, but it can't be. I got it embroidered on the left barrel with my last name. So this is the Smart Pack Ultimate Turnout Blanket. It is the heavyweight, so it's 360 grams. It is black with gray trim and royal blue piping. On the right shoulder, it says my last name, like right in the bottom corner. But along with that, I got the neck cover. But again, it's just black with dark gray trim and royal blue piping. I believe it says it's 360 grams, which is amazing. Aww. Oh my god, your tripod matches his blanket. <laughs> this is my blanket on Friday. Oh god, what is my voice? This is the heavyweight. It has my little name on it. And it looks real cute. A little big on his butt. But you know... His booty's not popping right now, but it fits his shoulder, so you know, that's what matters, so we're keeping it. It's probably like, it's 50 degrees out and I have a heavyweight blanket on, I'm gonna kill you. I did not ride, I just walked around while Issa rode. Yeah, I rode Zara and I did some like, I rode my dressage saddle. I'm trying to get used to like having my heels down in like really long stirrups, it's really awkward, but I also rode without stirrups. I went a little trail ride on yeah. Friday. I like hand walked Friday and she rode Zara. It's so really nice. We're gonna go and film a video and it's a full day. It is a get day. ready for homecoming. Friend. I have done everyone's makeup except for Dooley's. And now I'm doing lashes on her. Say hi. Ah. Hi. Guys, we're getting ready for homecoming. It's so fun. Um probably a little confused, but yeah. You don't know any of these people. No, I know nobody here. I was talking to the people of YouTube. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what I'm wearing to the dance. You know? Yeah, actually, this is it. This is Isn't it really cute? Yeah. You know, sweatpants, sweatshirt. And wearing Nike and Virginia Tech. It's really cute. <laughs> that says Georgia. 
<laughs> but Lori, can we get like an outfit of the day? Outfit of the day. This is uh, from <laughs> the men's section about Marshall. Oh. And then we have. Everyone's looking really nice for the dance. Know, We've got gonna... great outfits. He saw is like looking really fancy. It's like a really casual like dance, you know? Oh, Annie's going for a really modest look with leggings under her dress. Vlog. <laughs> How do you zoom in this rig? You don't do that. Dude, bro, don't do that. Oh my god. Pretty cool. Hello, Rwanda. So guys, um, I am in the car. I'm actually like parked waiting for Lily to get in the car. I'm filming this at the same time I'm filming another vlog. So like if this footage looks familiar in the next vlog, that is why. But I just wanted to film an outro because um, I vlogged a very small amount on homecoming night. But I feel like that could have been quite confusing. So Saturday night was homecoming. I had like a bunch of people over to get ready. Filmed a little bit of that. So we all got ready together and then we all went to dinner and went to the dance and then I had some people over after and some people spent the night. I feel like this wasn't really very exciting. Um, I think it could get more exciting just as time goes on. I'm gonna upload it and see what you guys think about it. Um, leave any suggestions down below. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. You look at me now, bitch, I'm drowning. And my hoodie St. Laurent is a thousand. And we come